Hello, my name is Amanda Goldsmith and I'm the Spotted Lanternfly Technician of the Lancaster County Conservation District. I'm back again to show you one of the newer traps for the Spotted Lanternfly, the Bug Barrier Tree Band. Research has shown that this is an effective trap for both the nymph and adult stage of the Spotted Lanternfly. And the sticky adhesive faces inward, so there are less chances of wildlife like birds and bats getting stuck. And even the Philadelphia Zoo is, has these set up at their zoo. Let's get started. You will just need three supplies, some scissors, the cotton fiber, and the sticky adhesive, the latter two provided with the bug barrier tree band kit. First, wrap two layers of the cotton fiber around the tree. Push it into the bark so it's secure. I kept shifting it around and lightly pulling apart the cotton fiber until it was securely into the bark. For deeply furrowed bark, use a putty knife to secure the cotton fiber. Next, measure out the sticky adhesive that will go on top of the fiber before you cut it. For trees under 24 inches in diameter, measure out an extra 3 inches. For trees greater than 24 inches in diameter, add an extra 3 inches of overlap per foot of tree diameter. Next, remove the backing of the sticky strip and place it securely on top of the cotton fiber all around the tree. With the extra overlap, secure it tightly to the tree. And with that, you have a complete trap. Once again, this is another tool in our tool belt to control spotted lanternfly without resorting to pesticides and while reducing bycatch because that sticky adhesive is facing inward. For more questions on controlling spotted lanternfly, check out Penn State Extension's website. They have a ton of incredible resources for, to help you out. As well, you can check out the Lancaster County Conservation District's page on the spotted lanternfly. Finally, make sure you remember to check your vehicle for spotted lanternflies before you leave and keep on squishing. Thanks everyone.